this is Beauty by Brains, and happy Hanukkah to all my Jewish subscribers or just anyone that is watching. It is the first night of Hanukkah tonight. Um, so I am not Jewish, so I will not be lighting a menorah or doing anything like that. Um, but I did want to do a Hanukkah look, um, that you can definitely take should be bubby friendly, but, um, you're going to have to use your own judgment on that one. Um, so I wanted to incorporate the colors usually associated with Hanukkah, which are white and blue. Um, because of my skin tone, blues are a little iffy with me, so forgive me if you were looking for more of a blue look. They're definitely out there, but I was trying to keep this a more muted blue just because blue starts looking crazy. Um, once you start adding on to it, at least on me. Uh, so if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So as usual, I've already done my like foundation and everything so we can move straight on to the eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lighten my eyelids with um, the Bare Minerals 501 um, BB Cream in Luminous Pearl. And the reason that I do this is that it just sets a nice, not only does it set a nice base for the eyeshadow, but it also lightens my eyelids because we're going to be using white, um, it doesn't, whites usually don't show up that well on my skin. I think it's more like it just gets mixed with my foundation and everything. So using this as a base makes it, um, makes whites pop a bit more. I'm just going to check to make sure that they're even. Okay, now that that is down, um, I am then going to take the fluffy brush from the Alice in Wonderland palette and I'm going to take the Clover palette by Too Faced and dip into Chihuahua and just run this through my crease just so that there's no like harsh lines or anything. Um, I picked the lighter brown because I'm not trying to use it per se as a transition color, more to just make sure there's no harshness going from the white um, to the rest of the eye. Using the uh, brush that came from the Graveyard Girl palette, I'm actually going to dip into this white shade right here called Puppy Eyes, and I'm just going to put this all over the lid. Well, not all over the lid, let's say like 80% of the lid. Like I'm going to about here in the middle, like about here, leaving the outer corner without. It is a beautiful shimmery white. I'm now getting shimmer all over myself. Fun, fun, fun. There isn't fallout, it's just shimmer everywhere. I feel like glitter was the theme for this holiday season. Okay, now taking the flat side of the Urban Decay brush, I'm now going to dip into this blue shade called Spoiled, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. And I'm bringing it in just a bit on the middle of the lid. And 
and I'm more using a padding motion than a swiping motion. Sure. I'm trying to help the hard lines. I'm gonna have to go back over it, but just just to give it a moment. I'm just making sure both of these eyes are even. Okay, putting the clover palette aside for a moment, I'm going to dip into the uh, Best Year Ever palette from Too Faced. This is from the Pretty Little Planner set, and I'm going to take the flat side from the Urban Decay brush that came with the Naked palette, and I'm going to dip into this shade right here, Break the Ice. It's a, like, dark icy blue. Very lightly dip into it, and I'm going to put this on the exact outer corner. I will admit there's not that much of a contrast. I thought that would be greater, but still nice. More shimmer. brush for a second. Um, I'm then going to take the Urban Decay Fluffy brush with no product on it and just um, add a little bit more Chihuahua to the crease just because the shimmer got over it. And I don't want there to be a bunch of shimmer all over the place. And then I'm going to take the flat side of it and just make sure there's no harsh edges between the blues and the white. So this is really it for the eyes I'm going to do the with the shimmers and everything. I'm going to go, sorry, I thought I saw something. I'm going to go put on a wing and some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, now that the wings are on, um, I <laughs> for blush, I'm actually going to go into the um, Power of Makeup palette by Nikki Tutorials, and I'm actually going to mix the two blushes that come with the palette, Justify My Love and I Will Always Love You. And I'm taking a e.l.f. brush. And I'm lightly dipping into Justify My Love because it is a very bright pink. Also, if you guys didn't know, these actually smell amazing. The heart shape is a little hard to deal with them. Okay, now I'm going to dip into I Will Always Love You. Because I want to go a nice blush, but I don't want to be too pink because I feel like it um, clashes with the blue. Okay. 
All right, for a highlight, I am actually taking the Kylie Jenner Wet Set. Um, now, I'm not one usually to buy Kylie Jenner's products. It's just not my thing. Um, but I could not resist getting another, getting a wet set since I missed out on it from the, um, summer collection. So here it is. It's super sparkly. Yeah. My camera's like freaking out. Um, the only issue that I have with it is that the sparkles come off and that, so now there's like sparkles all over me. Um, but opening it up, here is the palette. I already like stabbed one of the colors is sugar coated. Um, cause I was being stupid, but here it is. And as you can see, it is like putty It's a really awesome mirror. Um, sorry, I'm just checking my blush in the mirror. So I'm going to try, I'm going to put on the shade frostbite. I'm going to try it with the brush. And then if it's not picking up, I'll use my finger. Cause, um, I know a lot of people use their finger mostly, but I really don't like doing that. Yeah, it's not even coming on the brush. Okay, that's fine. Just use my finger. Because it comes out on the finger really well. And I guess just tap that in. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that I'm being like really gentle with my movements just because I don't want like too blinding of a highlight, especially since it's white. So I'm trying to be gentle with my tapping. Then I'm just going to take a brush and make sure it's all blended out. I keep thinking that I'm hearing stuff. I'm clearly, I'm going crazy. Too much Krampus. Um, okay, so that's it for highlighter. Putting that away, cleaning off my finger for a second. Um... For lips, since it's such like a blue eye, a blue and white eye, I don't really want to use a red or anything. So I'm actually going to take Family Jewels from the Jeffree Star Chrome Collection. It's more of a um, brown, and that's what I'm going to be using for my lips. But first, I'm going to put on some chapstick. course for setting spray the tried and true all-nighter and D slick from urban decay And that is it. 
Okay, everyone, here is the final look. Like I said, a nice shimmery look um, for Hanukkah using the blue and the white. Um, it's definitely a look that you could also use for, like, a winter look if you would like or just a regular holiday look. But I did want to give Hanukkah a moment um, with their own colors of white and blue. Uh, this is not the first holiday video of the season. I'm also doing a Christmas video and a Kwan's video, so make sure to stay tuned for those. Um, but for the meantime, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.